They came early and submitted their details. Every one of them is ill and the group that asked them to come to Mata Misericordia Hospital, Afibo, is ready for them. This outreach provides a testament to some of the things we are interested in. We want to see the wellness of our people um, within the residents of Afibo and maybe its environs. Conference of Afibo Medical and Dental Doctors organized this free medical outreach for indigenous of Afibo North, local government area of Ebony State. We just felt like funding it and giving back to the society that produced us since there are so many indigent patients around. We know the problem of our people. We are at an advantage to tell them what they should do to get better because if a society is healthy, then every other thing is secondary. Lifestyle modification, Dima. Whilst giving a health talk, the president of the association, Dr. Iduma Victor Iduma, encouraged the indigenous to check their blood pressure regularly and also visit the hospital for regular checkup. He advised against alcohol intake and smoking. As an adult from 40 years and 50 years, I not see one year, two years, check your BP. Thereafter, the medical personnel attended to people in different sections. Today is just the first day of the outreach, you know, and we have uh, 800, you know, patients that are registered waiting to be seen. The common eye disease that we see here is mainly the slowly progressive eye disease. Things are better now, so they have uh, eye services that are readily available you know, for them in the community now, you know, that they can always come to Mata Eye Hospital, you know, to treat their eyes. Presently, what we are doing is one hernia and a lipoma. We expect to have a lot of hernias because our people, are, most of them are farmers and physical work is a risk factor. They interacted with indigenous in Afibo dialect. They express themselves better. In fact, with the dialect, we are able to, you know, uh, get the, the information. They, they are probably are uh, hiding. Actually, these are local. Most of them didn't go to school. Even those that went to school, it's also very honorable to use their dialect to attend to them. One of the traditional rulers in Afibo North local government area came with his cabinet members. His Royal Highness. Izogo Umezwe Onya Idambasi, the Ubagala third of Amasere Kumubagala, was attended to by professionals. I was attended to with my members of my cabinet in a very humane character. No, no sign of difficulties. They were able to talk to me the way they should ask me and I was able to give them information about my head. Chairman of the Board of Trustees and members of Afik Bumuchua Health Association a community-based health insurance scheme were present. Subscribers pay only 700 naira a month. When they assess healthcare, if the bill is 10,000, they will only pay 1,000. Then the, the health insurance will cover the remainder of the cost. We use Mata and the Amatra Health Center as healthcare providers for Afipo Mutual Health uh, Association. This free medical outreach lasted for four days. There were 2,000 medical consultations, 500 reading glasses given, and 119 surgeries done. I have multiple bouts of nostalgia because I spent a lot of my holidays when I was younger here, and I feel really good coming back. And the fact that I'm coming back to give back to my people makes it even more beautiful. We just conceived the idea this year and decided to at least kick it this year hoping that it will work and by grace of god it actually worked out the beneficiaries are happy the 
Naturally, it is a good thing a man gives birth to a child through the blessing of God. He is trained with the hope by the time we grow old as parents, our children should be able to take care of us. And that's why they have made that sacrifice through the hate of God to ensure that their parents enjoy medical facilities without paying one naira. It means a lot to the people of our people. This is a self-sponsored project. The Conference of Afibo Medical and Dental Doctors would like to do this annually. We want to partner with non-governmental organizations, governmental organizations, and any group that is health-oriented and are also interested in um, fostering um, strong social values um, like um, end of drug abuse campaign, early teenage pregnancies and issues that have either unintended health consequences or direct health consequences.